click the bell, turn on all notifications, and subscribe for around the clock WWE news in real time. The home of the most consistent and dedicated breaking news in WWE, Sean's View Ends, is here for you. Like, comment, and share today. It is indeed April the 20th. It is indeed 420, which means you're going to smoke it up, which means you're going to get up, which means you're going to get high as the sky. Whether it means that you're going to be listening or hearing or blaring or blazing here on this 420 day, and if you do it, you do it. If you don't, you don't. But you see, all the cool cats are doing it nowadays. Sean View Entertainment, quite frankly, never did that. But we're not here to talk about blazing and raising and smoking. What we're here to talk about here is the news and the rumors and the headlines in the WWE. That is blazing and that is smoking. And we are going to get real high with the WWE news rumors because, quite frankly, the only drug that Sean View Entertainment runs on are my viewers, my fans, and my subscribers because, you see, I am so addicted. You see, I need to have it. It's like that drug. You need to get the hook. And you're going to get the hook of Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Now, into the first big monumental story. As we all know, just last night after SmackDown, little recap, WWE stars, not one, not two, four massive stars were released. One of them, a former WWE champion. Now, we got breaking news on the next major release in World Wrestling Entertainment. But before that, ladies and gentlemen, you got to get ready for AEW Collision tonight. Also, the opening match has been unveiled for the 2024 TNA Rebellion pay-per-view, and it will be Nick Nemeth going for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship against the current reigning defending TNA World Champion, Moose, in what should be one hell of a match. Also, we got breaking news on the brand new WWE Tag Team Champions. Ladies and gentlemen, the fan reception to the new WWE Tag Team titles, according to sources in the know, has been universally positive, with many praising the title's throwback design. However, it's not just the fans who have reacted favorably to the new titles. According to Fightful Select, WWE talent speaking to Fightful unanimously expressed their admiration for the newly designed WWE Tag Team Championship titles, saying they may be the best brand, the best uh, design that we have had in several years. Also, reports indicate that the titles had been in production for a considerable period before their unveiling on last night's SmackDown, adding to the anticipation and the excitement surrounding their debut. What are your thoughts on the newly unveiled WWE Tag Team Championships? The SmackDown titles are the best looking belts in the company. I am not feeling Raws at all. They look fantastic. Overall, probably the best new belts WWE has put out in a long time. And WWE star, ex-WWE star Mandy Rose invites fans to volleyball with her with a swimsuit photo foot drop photo. Shoot, drop. Also, a lot of rumors and speculation. We're talking about releases in this episode. We're talking about WWE stars that are going to be released, gone, pink slipped, going into another ventures. Ladies and gentlemen, here on Sean's View Entertainment, while we do discuss rumors and speculation and news, there's a lot of rumors and news about returns. Not only releases, but there's going to be a lot of return news in WWE. And Mandy Rose is one of those stars that could return. Also, The Undertaker admits that the WWE Hall of Fame taking place after SmackDown isn't a good idea, and I do agree with that. The WWE Hall of Fame has to go back to being its own show, its own separation on its own day, or uh, in another arena uh, somewhere else because, yeah, it just kind of loses that feeling, that aura, that magic. It just kind of loses that importance because, you know, the fans are red hot for SmackDown, and then by the time the Hall of Fame comes around, fans are pretty much dead and gone. Also, who is considering a massive comeback to the WWE? And not only a comeback, not a one-off, but a massive wrestling comeback. Ladies and gentlemen, this former WWE star is a former world heavyweight champion. Now, if you think about the lineage of world's champions in the WWE, from Kurt Angle to Booker T. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Booker T is considering a wrestling comeback, not just one of those one-offs. Also, 
Jim Ross explains the significance of showing the AEW all-in footage, which people, I'll tell you what, the one thing AEW did is they got a lot of people talking for a long time. Here we are still talking about that footage over a week later. So I got to give TNA or AEW, excuse me, I got to give AEW the nod on that one. Also, breaking news on Ash by Elegance. Ash by Elegance admits to holding talks with other promotions prior to her TNA deal. But as we all know, she ended up like, you know, ultimately, figuratively in TNA. Also, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news on Roman Reigns and the Bloodline. Breaking news, significant news, ladies and gentlemen. According to WrestleVotes, indicates that Roman Reigns is poised to step away from WWE television for an unspecified period. However, Roman Reigns' impact on the evolving Bloodline narrative will remain profound as he continues to wield substantial creative input behind the scenes. I am told that although Roman Reigns will be off TV for an indefinite period of time, he will have a substantial creative input in the evolving Bloodline storyline over the course of the next few months. Ringside News also reached out to a senior member of the creative team for insights into the planning and coronation of the Bloodline. The response in underscored the metalkias, the, the planning, the, 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 the planning undertaken by a select group of individuals steering the narrative ship are key figures such as Triple H, Roman Reigns, and Paul Heyman. While specifics remain under wraps, a handful of WWE staff members, including Bruce Prichard, Ed Kosky, Ryan, and Michael Hayes, are also pri- privy to the storyline's uh, trajectory and major developments. It was also emphasized that all plans have been firmly cemented. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this bloodline saga, this storyline is far, far from over. You thought just because Roman Reigns wasn't there, just because Roman Reigns was on a sabbatical, just because Roman Reigns is on the bench. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, breaking news on the brand new WWE champion, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes is offered to help a fan who actually faced racist attack at a WWE UK event. Also, The Undertaker's dressing claims of criticizing talent as soft in WWE. Also, how WWE talent are responding to their recent releases. Not as bad as when Vince McMahon was there. I'll tell you that at the end of the day. And the next, wa- the next round, the next wave of releases, it may be one here, it may be one there, or it could be a few there and a decent amount here and there. However, a name that has been coming up that could be released, of course, a name that, that has been controversial in years past in multiple promotions, whether it be ROH, whether it be TNA, whether it be WWE, whether it be AEW, is CM Punk. Is CM Punk going to be released? Is he rubbing people the wrong way? Is he having a bad attitude backstage? Is is CM Punk going back to the CM Punk of old? Well, according to rumors and speculation, that is not the case. CM Punk has had... Uh, good recognition, good backing, and even through his injury, CM Punk has been doing all he can to help out in his WWE tenure, his WWE run. So no, CM Punk will not be released, but there are going to be more releases, and I want to give you extensive coverage of that right here on the Brash and the Brazen, Sean's View Entertainment. Click the bell, subscribe. Who should be released next? If it were up to me, I'd say nobody, but if you don't have anything creative for him, what else can you do? Plenty more to come. Subscribe.